guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different from the format that you're used to if you're watching my channel, so um, I'm, I'm usually posting streams of live gameplay and highlights video, so today I thought I'll bring you an unboxing video because I'm getting ready to upgrade my main rig that you can still see in the background. By the way, that's an old thermal take wave case that I had for many, many years. In fact, it was the case in which I built my first Opteron system uh, back in the day. And if you can still remember those, props to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm that old. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start unpacking. Uh, I'm sorry I had to do a voiceover for the video because I somehow managed to record it without my voice my live commentary during the unboxing, but I hope this will do. The first thing in the box is uh, an H115i Corsair cooler, it's a liquid water cooler, dual radiator, 140 fan, and also a Patriot Viper, 16 gigabyte, 3600 megahertz DDR4 kit, dual channel. I'm going to use package came wrapped in a lot of protection material, bubbles, cardboard, you name it. On to the main event. This is the NZX TH400 Micro ATX case. I've decided to ditch the full ATX route and go with a micro ATX because in my opinion it has all the benefits uh, with a little less volume and you can find perfectly good motherboards for that format as well as CPUs with 8 to 16 cores so that's going to do very nicely Okay, so um, thing is, sorry for my mess and my cables that you can still see on in the background. Uh, my room is work in progress, so we, I, I will have to install uh, some furniture to incorporate my audio amplifiers and my tuner and my PC, and that's going to to come later this year, hopefully. But until then, I need to plan ahead and try to build the system up. So I'm going to, this is going to be the first video, uh, hopefully in a micro series. So far I ordered this case, uh, the water cooler or the only one cooler, uh, the memory kit and also uh, an SSD. still on the fence for ordering the motherboard and the CPU. The case looks nice, uh, in fact it looks better than, yeah, than it did in the videos and pictures that I've seen posted on the seller's site. Very nice tempered glass side panels, magnetic uh, filter on the top. and came well protected, has foil on the outside, really nice vents on the side and also on the bottom, thumb screws, I'm sorry I didn't know, I don't know what I said there anymore but must have been really interesting since I got pretty excited about it. But hey, it's a nice case, what can I say? Nice heft on the side panel. And also, I like the fact that the case is uh, has a shroud for uh, the power supply part. 
also supports for multiple SSDs. Uh, it came with three uh, coolers, 120mm ones. The front ones uh, I'm going to replace with the all-in-one cooler from Corsair and probably the front intake coolers are going to be relocated on the top of the case. So uh, yeah, looks pretty nice. still going to have to figure out how to mount the only one cooler on this but yeah click the like button if you enjoy this kind of format this kind of video let me know if you want to see more and yeah like I said I, I'm still waiting for a suitable motherboard and CPU I was holding out for the 9, 9000 series from Intel uh, thinking of maybe the 9 9700K or yeah why not the i9 catch him by surprise